But there's one more candidate in this race who from day one has been making an important and interesting argument. You saw him at the top of the show and he is back with us now. Of course, it's Vivek Ramaswamy. Um, Vivek, uh, how's it going? What's the latest from your campaign? Well, things are going well, Steve. We're at the latest polls that just came out at the end of last week, polling at 8 percent, third place amongst the declared Eight. candidates. And I started at 0.0 percent. So, yeah, that was on the last poll on Friday night. So we're making progress. I think it's because we that actually have a message, me. Steve. So, so I'm Absolutely. happy about Sorry, that. I just wanted to, to, I didn't that. want to cut you off, but I mean, the point is that that I know people say, well, 8 percent. That is actually puts you, I think, at absolutely the top of the pack uh, behind the, yes. the people that are described as the front runners and the big battle, you know, Trump DeSantis. That's very impressive. OK, let's get to your argument, because it is important that people understand what it is. That's what this whole election is about. I think the substance is going to carry the day, Steve. And what I'm telling everybody is that the fourth branch of government is unconstitutional. And the president of the United States has an opportunity to shut it down. That is the administrative state. In terms of domestic policy, Steve, that is at the top of my agenda. Shutting down agencies that should not exist. The Department of Education to the FBI. When these institutions become so corrupt, so ossified, I cannot make a false promise to reform them. The right promise to make is to actually shut them down and see that through, reduce the federal employee headcount by over 75 percent, move the remaining agencies out of Washington, D.C., take the civil service protections for the bureaucrats and replace it with actual eight year term limits. Just like the U.S. president can't work for the federal government for more than eight years, neither will any of those people reporting into me if I'm elected president either, Steve. And so between that at home and then declaring independence from China abroad, I'm really clear about what my priorities are. And the good news is I think the president of the United States can deliver on both of those things. And if I'm elected, I'm certain that I will. So let's take those the, the, the first area there, which I, I'm completely in agreement with. You heard me at the top of the show in, in my remarks um, going in a very similar direction. But there's, it seems to me there's a difference. Education department, you can make a Tenth Amendment case. This should be completely controlled yep. at the state level. And in fact, I, I think we'd agree by parents, in fact, with real school choice yep. um, rather than the federal bureaucracy. But with the FBI, again, agree about the corruption. But there is a need for some federal law enforcement, yeah. right? You're right. And you, you, this is why I love talking to you, Steve, because those are in two distinct categories. One is an agency that should not exist and should be shut down. One is a matter of bureaucratic reform, radical bureaucratic reform of the federal government. So at the local level, think about this with me. You actually have local prosecutors and you have local police. You don't have an investigative unit sitting in between. At the federal level, we have federal marshals, U.S. marshals, the police force, mm -hmm. as well as the Department of Justice. But when you have an intermediary bureaucracy, that's part of the formula for corruption, Steve. This is still the same J. Edgar Hoover building that people walk into, the same J. Edgar Hoover's FBI that tried to threaten and blackmail Martin Luther King to commit suicide in the 1960s. They're now going after different political opponents today. So what I say is when that managerial rot becomes so deep, you can actually shut it down and also gain efficiency. The DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, pursues some of the same drug mm -hmm. cases in parallel with the FBI that does it in a silo. And so, Steve, I'm actually very practical in some of these views in terms of using the presidential reorganization powers. I come at this not as a politician, but as an outsider, success in business. I'm actually going to run the executive branch of the government as a true chief executive. And that's also how we get rid of corruption, but also deliver efficiency. Yes, yes And I have my right. eyes on both. Because the corruption, you know, all these sprawling agencies, that's where the corruption can go. Um, as I mentioned yes. earlier, Vivek, uh, I think we can all see why you're doing well. Amazing energy there and, and a really, really serious um, transformational plan. Um, I, I think um, I'd be right behind it. We'll see how you get on in the campaign. But so far, so good. Great to see you this evening. Thank you. All right. Here now.